Hey guys, I am Daisho and I'm here with a gameplay commentary of Call of Duty Black Ops. And this is some zombies gameplay. And it's going to be like the last zombies that I uploaded, which is pretty much, it's not a live commentary, but I pretty much did some editing and now I'm going back showing you the interesting parts of the zombie game. Unlike the last time where I started from level 35, I'm going to start from level 1 this time. So I'm definitely open to any suggestions you have. If you're like, yo Daisho, why did you show me this? Or why did you show me this? This was really boring. Then I'm definitely inclined to uh, try to change it for the better next time. So I'm going to jump right into the commentary. So this is our pretty much our strategy for level 1, me and my buddy. we One of us goes to the bottom, it's usually him, and I go to the top. And um, usually it works out well. Unfortunately, this time something else happens. So um, I, sh I show you my buddy's point of view, and bam! Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? He just died on, on round 1, so... Just gonna slow that down for you guys. Bam, bam, bam. He's killing some zombies, misses the knife, and goes in for the next one. And both zombies punch him in the face. And if you've ever been punched by a zombie in the face, then you'll know it's really, it's just not a fun experience. So me, like a good friend, wait to uh, murder all the zombies and steal all his points before I go rescue him. So... I mean, that's just that's just the way I'm going to roll. But anyway, I'm going to skip ahead. Round 2 is basically the same thing as round 1. We pretty much just shoot some zombies and whatever. And uh, we're both out of ammo, pretty much, or at least I am. He has 8 bolts left. So we decide to move on to the next room. And for some reason, the way we've always gone ever on, on Ascension is we go uh, downstairs, and we go to the room with the MPL. And then one of us stays down and kills all the zombies spawning in this room. And, oh, I just get really scared of this spinning thing, and I'm just, like, hiding in a corner in a fetal position, just like, no, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. But anyway, um, I grab the MPL, and uh, my friend's about to do the same. But usually what happens is one of us guards the bottom, and one of us guards the upstairs, and it, it works out really well. The person on the bottom usually ends up getting more kills, though, and more zombies near him. So my friend is going to be, he's going to be really nice, and he's going to steal all the zombie kills right here. Um, but that's only because I'm like, I call bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of gay, but whatever. Um, that's just, it's just how, how it works in zombies. You got to be a little gay sometimes. So anyway, I am killing all the zombies. We're just group killing zombies. <laughs> um, and I mean, that's pretty much just the way this round's going to go. Um, we usually stay here until round five or so. And I think uh, in just a second I'm going to fast forward to the end of that and then show you the next part of our strategy. Um, hold on, hold on, and there we go. So um, now we are towards the end of round five where I kind of make a mistake. And um, once I get a max ammo, I'm like, ooh, I'll reload my pistol. And then I start using my pistol to shoot. And now uh, <laughs> the zombies are kind of gaining on me. So, um, like a stupid person, I stop reloading and throw a grenade and then run into the grenade. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't die. I was really close to dying there. But um, anyway, my friend comes out and he kind of helps me. Sorry, guys, if I'm. I, noti I just noticed that I'm really mainly looking at my screen or the top screen for uh, most of this because that's just what I know the gameplay by. I don't really know how to explain it. But anyway, <laughs> what we do here where I kind of really gained the upper hand was I we whoever has the most money is going to buy the door. So <laughs> I, I ran and bought the first door, and then I'm like, sorry, bro, you got to buy the next door, even though I only had 10 more points than him or something, like or 10 less points than him or something. Uh, but anyway, we usually like to stay here a little bit so that we can both grab, get a chance in the box. But And it, it almost always works out pretty well, but this situation was definitely, definitely not the best. As you'll see in just a second, um, what what actually happens? But anyway, I'm gonna gonna go for the box and grab an HS10. I, we both like to keep our pistols because um, if any of you don't know, the best, but really the best thing to use or one of the best guns in the game, other than the Thunder Gun, um, is the Mustang and Sally since they're both they're really strong in there. My friend gets down, unfortunately, but Mustang and Sally are really really strong. And I'm just, I mean, I'm just going to switch to my perspective since my friend is just on the ground shooting and stabbing some zombies. But um, anyway, I run away because I'm, I'm a little scared because there's like 400. My friend told me there's like 10 zombies running up the stairs, bro. You got to get out of there. Um, but anyway, um, as I was saying, um, 
we usually we usually like to keep the Mustang. I mean the pistol because you can upgrade it. Becomes the Mustang and Sally, and it's really really good on um, on this map because you can uh, get the PhD flopper. And then um, I pick up the death machine and then realize that I can't rescue my teammate uh, before that. I mean I kn I had known that you can't rescue your teammate when you have the death machine but I didn't really think of how it would apply so he actually uh, doesn't doesn't just get downed but he actually dies because of that so uh, that was kind of annoying for him mainly because he couldn't help me out this round and he lost all the points or so I guess um, that he would have gotten from this round but I don't know uh, I'm not really in such a great position either because all I have is this HS10 which is still a one-shot kill pretty pretty consistently but the really the main issue is that I don't have jug um, so the, the zombies will kill me pretty quickly um, anyway I mean I'm just gonna basically back into this corner and this is this is really the best one of the two best places in my opinion to hang out on this map in general uh, it doesn't work as well when you don't have jug because if you're trying to run in a circle around the zombies then it's pretty easy for them to corner to uh, hit you a couple of times as you run past them but um, Luckily, I got this uh, max ammo. I don't know if I actually would have been able to survive this round had I not gotten that max ammo. So that was definitely pretty lucky. But um, this this uh, segment is coming to this segment of the video is kind of coming to an end. So if you guys enjoyed this, then I don't I don't want you to give me a like. I just want some feedback. I I don't care. You can give me a like if you want. I really want some feedback to uh, know if you guys are enjoying this series. And if you want me to continue it, I really enjoy doing it. I put in a lot of work to, not that much work, but I did put in some work to this video. And if you appreciate it, then just uh, just let me know. So uh, when the next video comes up, I'll put an annotation on the continued word. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Bye.